21, a cylindrical cake has a radius and a height of 11 cm. So, 11 cm is the radius. So, this one is 11 cm and height of 8 cm. Alright. The diagram of the right shows a uniform cross section of a slice, a slice of a cake in form of a sector POQ. Alright. Being cut from the cylindrical cake with center O and a radius. This one lah. We the same lah. It's given that POQ is 40 degrees. So here, POQ here, up here, is 40 degrees. I hope you can see this one, the angle one. Right. So first one, calculate the perimeter of sector POQ in CM. So here, to calculate the perimeter of POQ, so we see here, what happened is, when we want to calculate POQ, so this one is from the top one, you see you have radius, radius, and this one is the arc of P. Q. So, we have 40 degree here. So, we know that to use the formula of R, S is equal to R theta, where theta needs to be in radian. So, we have 40 degree here. To convert to radian, we have to divide with 180. So, above would be by 1.342. So, here we get 0 0.698 radian. So now we can find the arc of PQ. So arc of PQ, so the radius of 11 and theta is 0 0.698. So we get 7.678 cm. So now we have the arc. So now the perimeter sector is equal to arc. So perimeter is equal to arc. Arc of PQ, arc of PQ. Why don't just SPQ plus 2 radius or 7.678 plus radius is 11. So 2 times 11. So here we get 29.68 centimeter. So this is the perimeter of POQ in CM is 29.68 cm. So, B, the area sector POQ in CM. So, this one is 0 0.698 radian. So, the area of POQ, so area of sector, you can calculate is equal to half R square theta. So, we know that this one is 0 0.698 and then the radius is 11. So, which is equal to half 11 square theta is 0 0.698. So, here we get 42.23 cm square. So here we have 42.23 cm square. So number 3, the volume of the piece of cake that has been cut in cm. So we know that this one POQ is 42.23. So the volume is equal to the area, the surface area. So the surface area of POQ time height which is equal to 42.23 and the height of the cake is 8. So here we get 337.84 cm cube. So B, if the mass of slice of cake that has been cut out is 150 gram, so we see here 150 gram, so we know that 150 gram is 40 degree of the cake, calculate the mass of the whole cake in gram. So, we know that 40 degree is equal to 150 gram. So, we know that the whole cake is 360 degree. So, it's X gram. So, we see here 40 times 9 is equal to 360. Or, we can just use 360 divided 40. You will get 9. So, you need to multiply 9. So, this one is also equal to multiply 9. So, X is equal to 150 times 9. So, we get... One three five zero gram.